Okay, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So today I'm going to give you 25 fun date questions. Again, I just felt like you guys needed some questions to ask your dates in order to gather some information. But these are fun date questions, but also you will be gathering information. So let's go ahead and jump right into these 25 questions. I will be looking down because I'm not keeping all that information up in my skull. So now, the very first question that you should be asking, or at least somewhere around there is, are you a morning or night person? This is very relevant because some people are super crabby in the morning and they always talk about how they need their coffee. Excuse me, I'm not woke unless I got one or two cups of coffee. Don't speak to me, blah, blah, blah. So if you are a super happy morning person, such as myself, you probably don't want to get you old crabby night person. Just saying, love y'all, but y'all kind of crabby. Anywho, the second one is, what is your favorite flower? Men probably don't have a favorite flower, but it's still a very cute question to ask. The next one is name a singer you can't stand the sound of. Like, who can you not stand the sound of their voice? Whenever they come on, you are flipping that channel because you cannot get rid of their butt fast enough. The fourth question is how much time do you spend on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, etc., etc.? Now, this is a very valid question, especially in our day and age. Most of us have a tendency to look down. We don't even look at our partners. We're not even talking to our partners um, a lot. I go out to the restaurants and I'm seeing the men. Uh, it's not 100% it's, it's not the men, but I will say I see the majority of men always on their cell phones while the woman is basically being ignored. Let me just throw it out there. If you are one of these people that do this, please understand that this is very rude whatever is on that phone if it's not a quick text and even texting I really try to avoid everything when I'm in the presence of my fiance because it's rude now if we're both doing it because we're not doing anything then that's one thing but if you are out on a date concentrate on the person that's in front of you I digress number five Tell me about your first road trip in your first car. This can be very fun to hear a story about a person in their first car on their first road trip. Now, the next one, which is number six, which is what is, all <laughs> oh, right, what's your favorite curse word? Now, if you don't curse, hey, you don't curse. But if you have a favorite curse word, this is something that you know that if you get with this guy or get with this girl, you know that this is always gonna be the thing that you hear out of their mouth. Just go and get it out the way. If you're not a cursor, like I said, then, hey, bravo. If you are a cursor, let them hear it now. <laughs> and they just have to understand you're going to curse sometimes. All right, moving on. Number seven is what is your favorite smell? What's your favorite smell? This can be kind of weird, but it also can be kind of fun. Number eight, when was the last time you fired a gun? Some people have never fired a gun. Some people do it every weekend. Like, that's their pastime. All right. Number nine. <clears throat> What's your lucky number? Some people have lucky numbers. So what's your lucky number? Number 10, what body part do you get caught staring at? <laughs> I'll throw my own self under the butt. I just look at everybody's butts. I don't care if you're a girl or guy. I, I don't care. I look at everybody's butts. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I don't go touch everybody's butts or anything like that. But that's the part, if you're going to catch me staring is at somebody's butt. Don't even matter. It could be flat. It could be round. It could be wide. It could be near. Don't even matter. I need to see what that butt look like. <laughs> Woo! Yep. Tell it on myself. Anywho, are you more opti? Oh, this is number eleven. Are you more optimistic or pessimistic? Now, me, most of y'all probably can tell. I am super op optimistic about so many things, just life in general. And uh, you know, obviously, we have the opposite, which is the pessimistic people. <laughs> and those are the people who are always complaining. They're usually negative. You tell them about something or idea that you have, the first thing that comes to their mind is why it won't work. Those are the pessimistic people. Not saying that you're bad, but you focus more on the bad as well uh, as far as the optimistic person such as myself. I focus more on the good, the first, second, third, before I even get punched in the face with the bad stuff. Moving on, number 12. What's your favorite food? Hey, what's your favorite food? All right, 13. Do you like to dance and or sing? This could be fun too. Y'all might get up and start dancing. I might start get up and dancing uh, and start singing. So that could be fun. What is uh, number 14? What's your favorite quote? Some people have quotes that they love to quote all the time. Me personally, I don't. All right, number 15. Who do you live with? Very important question. That could be fun, but you could also get some information. Like I said, who you live with? You live by yourself? You live with your sister? You live with your mama? You live with your roommate? Who you live with? 
Number 16, do you collect anything? Some people are collectors of things. I actually collect three things. I collect books, because I love books. I love reading. I love knowledge. I need to know what's going on. I collect little miniature dogs, because I, I really just want a dog. I'm going to get a dog soon. Um, but anyway, I collect dogs, and then I also collect, actually, I collect four things. I also collect um, magnets, and then I collect shot glasses. So the magnets and shot glasses, any city or country that I've been to, I have a shot glass and a magnet representing that country and or state. All right, moving on. Number 17, what would your friends say about you or how would they describe you? So, you know, you could pick a few descriptive terms that your friends would say about you. Uh, number 18, what kinds of materials, books, or info do you read? That could be an important question for you or even a fun question just to see. I don't read nothing but the Facebook stuff. I don't read nothing but the Instagram stuff. Like, again, it doesn't matter, but this, like I said, fun date questions. Number 19, are all people created equal? Are all people created equal? That's a question, you know. Um, number 20, what shocks or offends you? <laughs> number 21, pet peeves. What is your pet peeve? Again, I'll answer this one. This one is when people chew with their mouth open, I want to punch them in the face. Or just smack it. Oh, I just want to punch them in the face. Woo! <laughs> that one burns me up. That one burns me up. And just GP lying. You're lying for no damn reason just because it's the first thing that you usually do, which is tell a lie. That just burns me up too. All right, moving on. Number 22, your favorite movie to watch over and over again like i super love remember the titans that is my movie i will be quoting some stuff like it's my very first time seeing the movie and don't call me when it's on you you ain't gonna answer i might send you the voice bill with a text i'll call you back <laughs> or i'll text you back or whatever it is remember the titans is one of those movies that i can watch over 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 again i love the inspiration the storyline everything anywho moving on Number 23, your favorite thing to do on a Saturday night. This one actually can be very important because you can see if you are going to fit into this person's life. If the person is always at a nightclub every Friday, every Saturday, and, and that's not your thing, y'all probably not going to mess up because he, gonna feel, he or she going to feel like you're trying to change them and you're going to be pissed off. Why we not spending time together on this night? Why you always got to go out? That might be for real a deal breaker question. Moving on. All right, number 24. What bad thing did you as a kid do that your parents never found out about? So what did you do bad as a kid that your parents never found out about? That's number 24. The very last question of this is, what is the longest love relationship that you had? Like how many years? Why did you guys break up? All right, so again, these questions will be in the description box below. These are fun date questions as well. As you can see, a few of them in there are kind of serious or they could go that way. But have fun on your dates. Have fun on your dates and give me a thumbs up if you like this video content. And of course, give me a subscribe <laughs> if this is your very first time to I Love Me Me and you have yet to do that. All right, I will see you guys very soon. Two finger salute.